Good afternoon and welcome to St. Joseph. Today we celebrate a Mass of Thanksgiving on Thursday of the fifth week of Easter. Please join in singing our opening hymn, All Creatures of Our God and King, number 87 in the Black Hymnal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome, Your Eminence. It's so nice to have you here in uh, St. Joseph's Church in beautiful downtown Pomfret. <laughs> we welcome those who could join us at St. Joseph's that have been lead supporters and faithful through their legal, or excuse me, their legacy planning, and generosity to the Archdiocese as well. Thank you, Father Soaks, and I'm delighted to be able to offer this Eucharist with you uh, and to pray with and for you. Let us begin by asking the Father to forgive our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose grace, though sinners, we are made just, and though pitiable, made bless blessed. Stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. O 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, my brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of his disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, my brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins, I shall rebuild it and raise it up again so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord, who accomplishes these things, known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to all the nations. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord of the earth. Oh, sing to the Lord. His name. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim his salvation day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give the Lord your families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to Worship the Lord in holy splendor, O oh, tremble before him all the earth. Say to the nations, the Lord is king, he will judge the peoples in fairness. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to all the nations.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. On this, my very first visit to the parish family of St. Joseph, I'm here to say a word of thanks. But I know that our community this evening is comprised of people who belong to a, a number of neighboring parishes around St. Joseph. And so I say a word of thanks to you as well for coming together this late afternoon to praise God. The readings that we have heard and will continue to hear for the next couple of weeks in the Gospels are Jesus' departure uh, discourses. He's preparing his disciples for his departure from them and his return to his Father. And like any language that attempts to describe someone who is about to leave, uh, they are both uh, filled with anticipation on the part of Jesus as he's returning to his father, but also uh, a bit of regret because the Lord is leaving these disciples of his. Now, the disciples, once again, don't really get it at first. Uh, the Lord chose folks very much like ourselves. Sometimes they get it and sometimes they don't. And I think it's that that reason that Jesus says, I better send the spirit to these folks because they're, they're just not going to be able to make it without the presence of God's Holy Spirit. So as we listen to these words of a departing Savior, he says, I'm promising you that coming to you will be a spirit who will be able to help you understand all that I taught you. Now, the introduction uh, of our Mass this evening talked about Thanksgiving. One of the fortunate events and fortunate circumstances of the COVID, and there haven't been a lot, <laughs> is that it's changed the Archdiocese's attitude and approach to offering a word of thanks. Heretofore, the Archbishop would host an event at the cathedral and a reception at the cathedral where people who throughout the archdiocese would be invited because they had been so very generous to the annual appeal. But as you will remember, when the COVID hit, we couldn't gather in any great numbers. And so I suggested to our development office that rather than have a lot of people travel to come to the cathedral, I'll travel to go to the parishes throughout the archdiocese. And so I've been doing that for this past year, two years really, and I think it's a much better way. Uh, it allows one person to fight Washington traffic <laughs> as opposed to dozens of, fight, uh, of uh, people fighting Washington traffic. And giving the price of gas these days, that's another benefit. Only one person has to uh, uh, travel <laughs> and pay the prices uh, for our journeying. But it is an important moment for me to say thank you. I begin in the presence of my brother priests, who I, I am sure will share with their uh, neighboring brothers the first word of gratitude that I want to offer is a word of thanks for your support of our parishes. Because let's face it, 
if it weren't for your generosity, these many communities in this part of the archdiocese, actually throughout the archdiocese, wouldn't be able to carry on their mission. So you represent for these two, my brother priests, Father Harry and Father Michael, you represent the lifeline for their parishes and also their neighboring parishes. And I thank you in their name, and I'm sure they, I, I hope they thank you <laughs> for your generosity to these local communities. But in addition to supporting the individual parishes, you have been very generous in supporting the Archdiocesan Annual Appeal, which allows the entire church of the Archdiocese to take up some projects that would not be possible uh, for any single community to handle. The monies that come to the Annual Appeal support Catholic Charities, our pro-life offices, our training and education of priests, our senior priests. In other words, we pool our generosity together so that together we can take up the needs of a, a broader and more expansive community of needs. So thank you for that. Thank you not just for this past year, but I suspect you've been generous to the annual appeal for many years going. It's a good way for me to visit a number of parishes. This is my first visit to St. Joseph. Won't be my last, Harry. <laughs> but I am very grateful that St. Joseph's decided and agreed to host this evening's Mass of Thanksgiving. Uh, I was just, within the past week, at uh, Jesus the Good Shepherd, so Father Mike is also very much aware uh, of how deeply grateful I am to the people of this local church for helping the local communities flourish and the diocese flourish. You provide so many wonderful gifts, the gift of your presence, the gift of your prayers, the gift of your treasure. And because of that, we have to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us look to the Lord who is always gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the good shepherd, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may truly know the peace given by Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who make gifts in support of our archdiocese, that their generosity will give them joy and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who risk their lives in order to protect the lives of others, that they will be strengthened, shielded, and aided, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those chosen by the Lord to go and bear fruits as priests, deacons, and in the consecrated life, that they will respond to his love with convictions in their vocations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And this evening, let us join our hearts in prayer for the people of Buffalo, for the people in Ukraine, wherever there is violence and hatred, may the Lord send his angel of peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Have mercy on us and bless us, O God, our Father. Let your face shine upon us to make known your way upon the earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing our offertory hymn. 
Number 256 in the Lead Me, Guide Me hymnal, It Is Well With My Soul. Number 256 in the Lead Me, Guide Me hymnal. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the all of the Holy Church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our it God. It is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. 
and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Wilton our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other some sign of the peace of Christ. God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, and only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. temple he heard my voice my cry to him reached his ears the lord is my rock my fortress and my deliverer my god is my saving strength for you save 
it is you who give light to my lamp. The Lord my God lightens my darkness. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength. is Hail Mary, gentle woman. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright. Gentle woman, peaceful dawn. Teach us wisdom, teach us love. You were chosen by the Father. You were chosen for the Son. chosen from all women and for a man shining one gentle woman quiet love strong and bright, gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love, blessed are in turn all women too blessed they with peaceful spirits blessed they with gentle Gentle woman, quiet light, morning 
Gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Your Eminence, thank you so much for being with us once again. Thank you also, once again, for your generosity and support of the Church of Washington. Please feel free to join us for a small reception following this Mass in our parish center. Again, uh, Father Stokes, thank you and your wonderful people here at St. Joseph's for serving as a host for this Thanksgiving Mass. Uh, it brings together so many wonderful people, and I'm deeply grateful for your kindness. Thank you. You're welcome. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us live in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join in our recessional hymn, number 93, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. Yeah.